Let's make this really awesome boho fragments frame. The kits are available at ellenjgoods.com. You'll find the link in the description box below. This is what we're gonna make. We're gonna take this plain mirror and turn it into something fabulously colorful and textural and fun using these DIY paint colors, some wax, some dark and decrepit white dust, air dry clay, some molds, a few paint brushes, glue, and a credit card. Two, we're working with two different um, IOD molds. This is trimmings one and trimmings two. And what's really cool about this is that these are long segments that certainly you can use as a trim piece on something and, you know, create a long cohesive border on a frame or to just create a single border. But what we're gonna do with this project is we're gonna be cutting these up so that we're creating fragments and um, that's gonna give these molds a whole different look. This is air dry clay. It's, uh, you're gonna soften it in your hand. Whoop. You will soften this in your hands. I do like to put cornstarch in it because it's gonna help it to come out of the mold a little bit easier. I'm gonna press this into place. And as I go, I want to remove the excess with my thumbs. I've just prepared a bunch of these in advance so that I have some that I can play with. You can even um, make these in advance throw them into a Ziploc bag, or just let them lay out and air dry. What's really cool is that um, you can glue these onto your surface while they're still soft. You can paint over them while they're still soft. I guided my credit card right along that micro rim so I have a nice flat back. And then we're gonna pop it out. Look how pretty. There's so much detail in these IOD molds. So well, I'm gonna to continue to uh, create just some of these elements. I can always come back and, and do more if I need to. Until I have enough that I can work with. There we go. We'll flip it over flat and pop that right out. So this is where the fun begins. I'm gonna take these uh, strips of the trimmings one or trimmings two, and I'm just gonna start cutting them into pieces and just start laying them out. I don't wanna, I'm not gonna fill this in completely. But what's cool is that these molds once you start cutting them apart, they look like completely different things. I'm kind of taking my bigger, my bigger molds first. And I'm gonna put little pieces of those in. I'm just creating a pattern that's pleasing to me. Then I'm gonna take my tight bond, quick and thick, or you can use Elmer's glue, or you can use wood glue. You can use E6000, whatever you happen to have on hand. And I'm going to, I'm gonna glue the backs 
of my molds. Yes, they are still soft. That's okay. And we're gonna just glue them into place. This can be really helpful. You can tape this off. But the other thing to know is, is if you don't tape off your mirror, Debbie's DIY is water soluble. Even after it dries, you're gonna be able to come back and reactivate the paint and just wash it right off of here. This just helps with a little easier cleanup. I'm using Debbie's DIY Little Black Dress for the first coat of paint on my piece. You can use this paint on the molds while the molds are still soft or let them dry completely before you paint. If you let them dry completely, you might see little cracks here and there. That's okay, it just adds to the texture and patina and the fragmenty look of the piece. So I'm gonna just brush over this whole piece with my little black dress, getting into all those little crevices. Debbie's DIY paint is very thick and creamy paint. It can hold texture if you want it to, or if you'd like it to be thinned down, you can add water to it and use it even as a watercolor. The paint is so highly pigmented, you're not going to affect the intensity of those pigments by adding water. In this case, I've just dampened my brush before I dip into the paint, just to make the paint slide a little bit easier over my surface. My black paint is completely dry. Now I'm gonna play with these three fun pots of color. My final coat is going to be pink. So I'm gonna use the other two to just scatter a few little swipes of apothecary. And then cowboy coral 
over my piece. So what's gonna happen is these are gonna dry and then later I'm gonna be doing some wet distressing to reveal those colors from underneath. This is DIY Kissing Booth. It is the coolest. It's hot pink and it's beautiful. I'm going to now layer this color over my whole piece. If I miss a little bit between or in these cracks and crevices, that's okay. We're not doing anything perfectly perfect here. We do want this to appear very aged and fragmented and we want it to have lots of interest and texture. let my piece dry completely and then I'm going to just dampen a cloth and I'm going to begin to wet distress this piece. And look at that. What it does is it reveals those colors that I layered underneath. See that? And what's cool about wet distressing is you can take off as little or as much as you want. The Debbie's DIY clay and chalk base paint um, allows you to reactivate this paint with water for a few weeks. Um, as long as there's no sealer on it, like wax or um, big top, you can reactivate the paint so that you can wet distress it like this. You can add more blending techniques you can add more color to it. I'm taking off as much or as little as I want. This is what's gonna give it, again, all that additional texture and prettiness. Got some nice contrast here, showing some highs and lows. That's what makes a piece visually very interesting to look at. There we go. I like it. Once again, I've let my paint dry completely. You can see that it's back to that more chalky, lighter color. So now we're gonna finish it with a little bit of DIY clear wax. I just use a really soft brush. If you don't have a soft brush, you can also use just a lint-free soft cloth. And you could also just use your finger. This is perfectly safe natural wax spreads very easily.
when you apply the wax at first, your piece is gonna look a little bit blotchy, but no worries. Once it cures, it's gonna go back to a really beautiful, consistent finish. You only need just a tiny bit of this wax. I just love how you can get three completely different looks depending on how you decide to layer these three colors of paint. I'm gonna be using uh, Debbie's DIY Decrepit Dust in white. Pinching a little bit here and there while my wax is still fresh. And I'm gonna take a wax brush and I'm going to begin to move that around. Now don't panic, it's gonna look very, very white right now, but we can control this with a little, with some buffing and maybe just a touch more clear wax if we need to. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna take my finger and rub over That'll just help to keep my wax moving. This is a shop cloth. And now I'm going to start buffing this wax. And what's really fun about this is the more you buff it, the more it brings out that really pretty shine. Again, because we're creating a piece with a lot of texture, we want to create some contrast here. So I've got the duskiness of this white dust, but I'm also bringing these other fragments to a little higher gloss shine. That creates a really pretty contrast. The more you buff this, the glossier and shinier it's going to get. The last thing I want to do is peel off my paint tape. When this is completely dried, I'll come back in and clean this off with a little bit of window cleaner, just to make it pretty and shiny. So how fun is that? With three colors of DIY paint and black, with a little white decrepit dust and a touch of clear furniture wax, I used IOD paper clay and a trimmings mold, and I literally took these simple IKEA frames to a whole new level. Three different colors, three different combinations. I think they're beautiful. This is a simple piece of one by six. It was just a piece of, uh, it was a scrap that I had laying around. I did the same technique on this board and just Put those little uh, elements, those little fragments on wherever. We have, um, this is a, from a Cricut or whatever, wh whoever, however you get your vinyl cut. You can just add a simple little message on there. What an awesome little piece of artwork. Stamp a message on here. You could even handwrite it with a Sharpie. But what a fun and interesting way to use these IOD molds and Debbie's DIY clay and chalk-based paint. 
It's a fun project. You'll have a blast experimenting. With we have a very limited number of these fun boho fragment mirror kits available. You'll get enough supplies to complete one project. They're available at lnjgoods.com.